Hey everyone, welcome to Joe Blow's upcoming movie previews, where we take a look at some of the upcoming movies that have us the most pumped. As huge genre fans, how could we not be excited about the fact that we're getting a brand new Alien movie this summer? That's right, director Fetty Alvarez of the Evil Dead remake fame should now be deep in post-production on his addition to the franchise, which, for now, is being referred to as Alien Romulus. Originally designed to debut on Hulu, just like their Predator movie Prey did, Disney recently announced a theatrical release for the movie, which bodes well for its quality. So, as a filmmaker who is known for moments of cringe-inducing brutality, what should we expect from this new Alien movie? So what are you waiting for? I don't know, something amazing, I guess. <sighs> Me too, kid. First, what is the movie called? Is Alien Romulus really the movie's title? The fact is, we don't know. It could very well be a working title or codename title that will end up being changed down the line. The first time we ever saw the Alien Romulus title was on a production listing that was posted by the Film and Television Industry Alliance. That listing also said that the movie would be filming in Budapest, Hungary. That location information was correct, and given how much the title has been picked up by the press, Disney never issued a denial or corrections. So for now, we'll have to wait and see if the title sticks. Romulus brings to mind two things neither of which are likely to have any bearing on what the movie is about. Romulus was the name of the founder and first king of Rome, and it's the name of a planet in the Star Trek universe. So while a Star Trek alien crossover might send fanboys like us into a tizzy, it's not gonna happen. There was a time you looked at the stars and dreamed of what might be. Childish dreams, Captain. In both his remake of Evil Dead and Don't Breathe, Alvarez put young characters through the ringer, and it looks like he's going to be doing the same thing in his new Alien movie. Every cast member that's been announced in this film seems to be in their 20s, going by their birth dates that are available online. And The Hollywood Reporter says that, as opposed to the other movies which focused on adults in corporate, militaristic, and scientific roles, this now ninth installment of the franchise will focus on a group of young people. On a distant colony, the group finds themselves in a fight for their lives, with a titular alien, a creature known as a xenomorph, whose race propagates by implanting eggs into people's stomachs via face huggers, with the juveniles eventually violently bursting out of the host's chest. Will this be the alien equivalent of a slumber party slasher? <laughs> Hopefully it won't be another AVP2 Requiem, which saw the aliens and predators go up against a bunch of CW-like teens in a small town. Sources say that the script Alvarez has written with his frequent collaborator, Roto Seaguvez, doesn't have any connection to the previous alien movies, except, of course, for the presence of the xenomorph. So we shouldn't expect to see any tie-ins with the Scott prequels, the Adventures of Ripley, or the Predator crossovers. However, doesn't the story about a distant colony being stricken with a xenomorph problem sound a lot like what happened on LV-426 before Ripley and the Colonial Marines showed up in Aliens? That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. What are we gonna do now? This is only speculation, but Alvarez could be cooking up a surprise midquel that takes place within the time frame of Aliens, the story of the downfall of LV-426. But maybe it really is a completely different colony. Maybe the sources aren't trying to throw us off the trail, and the movie really doesn't have any connection to previous installments. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like, uh, your opinion, man. This new Alien movie will be directed by Fetty Alvarez, who made the well-received 2013 remake of Evil Dead, Don't Breathe, and The Girl in the Spider's Web, which was a rare misfire from the director, but led to his welcome return to genre films with this, his most ambitious project to date. The cast mostly consists of unknowns, although the star, Kaylee Spaney, just had an art house hit with Sofia Coppola's Priscilla, in which she played the title role. David Johnson, Archie Renault, Spike Fern, Aileen Wu, and Isabella Merced fill out the cast. Merced is probably the best known outside of Spainy, appearing in Sicario, Day of the Soldado, and playing the title role in the live-action Dora the Explorer. Gotcha. There you are, my little friend. No swiping, you, you swiper!
there were several directions the Alien franchise could have gone after the release of 2017's Alien Covenant. Although that film didn't go over well with fans or critics, it did okay at the box office. $240 million worldwide okay. And Alien director Ridley Scott wanted to make a direct sequel. A chance to wrap up the Alien prequel trilogy he had begun with Prometheus and continued with Alien Covenant. So that could have happened. Alternatively, the studio could have chosen to revive the Alien 5 project that Neil Blomkamp had been developing, which would have brought back Sigourney Weaver into the franchise as her heroine Ripley, and given Michael Bean's Hicks, character from Aliens, a different fate than the one we had seen in Alien 3. Blomkamp's ideas had a lot of fan support and support from Weaver and Bean, but it was put on ice because Scott wanted the focus to be on his prequel trilogy, which ran into a dead end anyway. Another filmmaker who wanted to make an Alien sequel that would have brought back Sigourney as Ripley was Walter Hill, who has been a producer on every Alien movie, and he got writing credits on Aliens and Alien 3. Hill wrote a 50-page Alien 5 treatment with fellow franchise producer David Giller, who has since passed away, but somehow it didn't gain any traction. So by getting his Alien movie into production, Alvarez has beaten competition from the likes of Ridley Scott, Neil Blomkamp, and Walter Hill. We may not know exactly what Alvarez's story is, but we do know the pitch made an impact on Ridley Scott. Scott, who is producing the movie. Apparently, Alvarez told Scott his idea for how to approach a new Alien movie years ago, and it stuck with him. So in 2021, Scott called Alvarez and asked him if he was still willing to make that movie. Obviously, he was. 20th Century Studios president Steve Asbel has said that they decided to move forward with the project purely off of the strength of Fetty's pitch, as it's just a really good story with a bunch of characters you haven't seen before. While the movie may be hitting theaters, we'll still be getting some simultaneous Xenomorph content on Hulu, with Noah Hawley's Alien TV in the middle of shooting. That show is set on Earth, with FX CEO John Landgraf teasing that the series takes place about 70 years from now and will not feature any characters from the movies. However, the infamous Waylon you Tawny Corporation will still be involved. Currently, the show has no release date and likely will only premiere after the new Alien movie comes out. Unlike last year's new Predator movie, Prey, the Alien movie is going to be released theatrically, with The Mouse House giving the film an August 16th, 2024 release date. This is similar to what the studio did with Barbarian, which grossed $45 million on a $4.5 million budget, and their recent The Boogeyman, which has already raked in $25 million and counting. Many think that Prey would have been a blockbuster had it gotten a theatrical release, as people still prefer to see their scary movies in a dark theater. As anyone who's ever watched an alien film theatrically can tell you, that's always the best way. It seemingly already pleased one tough critic, though. According to Alvarez, Ridley Scott has already seen the completed version of Alien Romulus and praised it, calling it great. With the movie still months away from being released, you can probably expect a full theatrical trailer sometime this winter or in the spring, which will give us our first legit look at Alvarez's contribution to the Alien franchise. So what do you think? Are you looking forward to watching a new Alien movie that leans into pure horror territory as Fetty Alvarez sets the xenomorph loose on a group of young colony residents? Share your thoughts in the comments. Five. We're on express elevator to hell, going down.